The police cars are gone, but crime scene tape is still scattered along an alley behind the 4900 block of South 3rd Street. Investigators say this is where someone fatally shot a man and injured a woman Friday night. Well, when I heard about it, I was shocked. Like, like I said, I wasn't even in the area, but when I actually came back to the area and heard about it, I was, I was shocked. Shocked because according to neighbors, things like this don't happen here. Several people describe hearing gunshots around the time it got dark. And I heard like two gunshots, like pow, pows. And then I went back inside, thought nothing happened, you know, and I, I come back out like 45 minutes later, an hour, I saw the police everywhere. Friday night's homicide is the seventh Louisville Metro Police have worked in as many days. A spokesperson for the department says even one is too many. And anytime we have, whether it's one or, or multiple, it's always a difficult time uh, for our city when that happens. And certainly our prayers go out to the victims, uh, families in these situations. At last check, police did not have any suspects in this latest case. Neighbors hope an arrest comes soon and that the woman who was injured recovers. And I pray for that woman, though. I hope her doing well and get better and stuff. And Lauren, just to update you, we've just learned the ID of the man who was shot and killed here last night. We're told he is a 19 year old. The name Zachary Knapper. I'm Morgan Lentis reporting live back to you.